Okay then, so we have this set up now. And it's pretty much ready to go. It's got everything in place. We don't have a back cut out yet, but we're going to use what's called a knife project to cut basically the shape of what we modeled out here. To cut that through the object. And uh, it'll save us having to manually cut around with a knife, you know, almost stencil this out. But one thing I didn't take into consideration is that this part of the roofing that it's actually based on here, it's a double. It's actually, um, it's four segments wide. So that's going to be a pretty large window as far as, as far as basic attic windows go. But it's not unusual to see something like that, I guess. So we'll just work around it and I'll make a smaller version then as well. And thankfully, because, because of the way we have this set up here, it's very easy. The pivot point is basically on this object. So all we need to do to make a smaller ver version of this is literally to scale that down and it'll scale along that roof rather than cutting into it. So first we're actually going to inset this, make a window out of it rather than just a straight wall. So I'm going to come out of isolation mode by pressing the forward slash key and I think actually I'm going to, I'm going to grab these guys here and use them. No, I won't actually, they should be hidden. They're the ones I don't want to hurt. Um, yeah, just there. So I'll take, let's say, I'll copy these two here as reference. If D, and I'll bring them along. You need to turn on my snap for this. So I'll go increment snap. And I'll grab them again. Now, pull them along here back towards my object and period key to zoom. Now I'll just rotate this. They're going to snap on 90 degrees. And I'll need to move this guy closer. And I'll pull it into place here. Okay, so the, it's after losing its orientation on the grid here. So what I will need to do, I'll either have to, I see this guy here is centered perfectly. So I'm going to take him, I'll press Alt and G to move him back to the grid. And then with this, I can't use Alt and G here because th these guys have separate pivots because we have this window set to open and close. So what I can do is with Alt selected, I'll go into edit mode, press A, to select everything. Uh, number one key will put me into vert mode. And I'm going to quickly just change this back to Vertex now. So I'll need to come out of edit mode to do this. Grab him and pull him back. Close to where I need him to be. Area to zoom and tap to go back into edit mode. A to select everything. Turn back snap. And press G and snap. So now I can see he's repositioned on the grid perfectly there. So, with that, I'll turn on X-Ray because I want to select through the model, select both these pieces and move them into position with increment snap turned on. And then I'll move him up to the front. So we're still getting that little overhang that's happening here. And now you can see, with reference how large that window is. But I think maybe um, realistically we'd probably want it to be something more akin to that. But for the moment, I think I'll actually make this and I'll duplicate then, make it a separate smaller one and I can actually turn this into something kind of decorative as well. So with that there for reference, what I want to do is select this object. It has a mirror modifier applied on it. And so does the roof part, I'm assuming. It does, okay. So I'm going to apply both of these for the moment. Okay. And now I just want to take this bottom piece. I'll go into edit mode, press 3 to go into polyface, polygon, face select, and I'll select both faces. And I'm going to inset this. So I'll press I. I'll come up to where my cursor can scroll. 
or uh, be dragged around freely. I press I and then I can slow, just drag this cursor down a little. So I want to give a border to the to the window frame. And now I'll press E to extrude. And I'll push it back. I'm actually gonna I'm gonna turn income and snap off for this. Give myself a bit more control. I'll pull it back to I'll say here. I want it to be kind of far inset, but maybe not that far. Maybe something like that. So now the first problem we have here is that we can see the roof is now flipping through there. So you don't want that to happen, obviously. Um, I'm going to show how to use a knife project now on this. The only problem with that is knife project, it works based on the view, the angle that your camera is pointing. So we're going to want to do this in um, orthographic. So that exact shape is going to get cut out of the roof area. But the problem is it'll follow through. So it'll cut a hole in the back, which we don't want for now. We could set that up, but we let a mirror take care of that on a separate piece. So for the moment, to protect this back piece, I want to actually separate this off. So I'm going to go into X-ray mode and I'll select all these faces and I'm going to press P and separate selection. So now when I cut through this, it won't affect this piece here. Okay, so now I just need to set up the object I want to use as my knife. So I want it to cut perfectly around this outer part of the window. So for that, I will select them. I don't want too many cuts here, so what, I'll, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the edges that surround here. So I'll just go around and click these edges. So this is basically creating what will be uh, a cookie cutter, for instance. I'll press Control, sorry, Shift D and duplicate that. Right click will put it back in place. I just want to press P and separate selection. So now we have a separate object here. And from the front orthographic view, it's going to cut a perfect hole into this section of roof. So I just need to grab him again. And if I remember correctly, the way to do this is select the object you want to be cut. So in this case, it's going to be the roof. I'll go into edit mode. I think, I'm not sure if you need to be, but I'll go into face mode for this and I'm going to press and hold control and then click on the object that I created as the knife cut, which is this, and then I'll go to mesh. I have to do this in orthographic, orthographic. I'll go to mesh and knife for two. And you can see now that's after cutting, but because of the end gone that's created, it forced topology. So it's a forced cut into the, the corners basically. So for that now, we no longer need this knife, I'll delete it, and I'll select the roof, and the part that we cut off, and I'm going to press the forward slash to isolate, and I want to rejoin these. So I'm going to select the part we cut off first, hold shift and select the roof itself, so it's going to rejoin this object back to the roof with the same pivot setup. Just control and J. And now it's joined, but it's not welded, so we need to go into vertex mode. So I'll press tab and want to go into vertex mode up here. Press A to select everything, and I'm going to right click and merge vertices by distance. And you can see we removed 28 verts. So basically, because these verts were practically overlapping, because we didn't move them after we cut them off, it just welded them back to where they were. And I've only got my cut in one side which is what I wanted. So I'm going to select these faces that we want to get rid of now and I'll delete face and there's a couple faces in here so I'll do that to all of them and there we go. Oh no okay I made a big mistake there. I forgot that we need to activate a mode. I'm just going to backtrack to oblivion here. Where's my knife? And where is the cut disappear? There we go. Right. Yeah, there's a setting that I forgot to mention. So, hopefully, 
I won't forget that again. Oh, okay. I'm at a better mode. I want to select... Did I separate this? I did. Select the roof. Go into edit mode. Hold control, select the knife. And go into front auto graphic. Go to mesh. And knife project. And I can see those cuts are made, but what I should have done was down here in the setting pop-up. Cut through. Yeah, that'll cut through every face that's in the way, not just the, the front facing. So if I turn, you can see the back now, everything is cut, cut right through. But the part we separated is protected, which is exactly what we want. Okay, so I'll press tab, come out of edit mode, I'm going to delete my knife. I'll select the two parts of the roof I want to keep, isolate them. I'll select the off cut first, hold control, hold shift, select the roof. I'll control press J. In one. Now tab go into edit mode. In one select vertices. A to select everything. And merge vertices by distance. So now we can remove these faces. Yeah, there we go. So we've cut that through without having to use a stencil. The only problem is we're left with horrible horrible end guns which we need to uh, it, we need to fix this up and we will have to do this on each of the faces although when it comes to optimizing we're going to be getting rid of a lot of these like there's no need for those interfaces there so I'm not going to worry about that for the moment I'm just going to fix the topology here on this one and I can do that in edit mode I'm going to press K and that will let me use a knife cut and I'm basically cutting you see, when I kind of hover over a vertice, it'll snap. And I'm just going to cut some triangles into this for the moment. So you click one, click the other, it'll create a link between them. And enter will confirm that. So now I want to just cut this side here as well. So we're left only with quads and triangles. And I just got to do this bottom corner here. Right. I'll need to do the same for the inside there. I'll actually do that now. So I am going to be keeping him. So I'll cut What's that and see him on that side. Okay. So I'll press forward slash again, come out of isolation. And it keeps on hiding these on me. I don't want that to happen. Okay, so now this fits. It looks a little better. And we can move this window area back. Now as far as we want. Without any sort of cut through happening. So I'm going to move back to probably there. Alright, so I just need to set up now a window frame here. So I can do that easy by just copying these pieces, or these faces, and Shift D to duplicate it. Right click to snap it back in place, and P e to separate a selection. I just want to select these outside edges here, going around the object. And I'll pull him backwards. So I'm just going to create a little frame here by giving this object a touch of thickness. So I'll go to modifiers and solidify thickness and just pull it in a negative direction and I will turn on even thickness because I want that to be consistent around. Maybe I'll reduce that thickness a touch. Okay, that'll do for now. I'll apply this. And I want to bevel the inside of this a touch. So I'll hold control, press B, and I'll just move my mouse slightly to the cuts. There. Okay, so. 
with that done now, I just want to add another piece of wood going down the middle here, I think. And I'll take the easy way of doing that. I'm just going to select these bases. I'm going to press Shift D and I'm going to drag that out until it's on the far side of that middle line. I'll go into front orthographic to get a better judge on this. Okay, I want to split this off as a separate piece. And from there I can add. No, I won't add yet, but I'm going to remove this back face because I want a mirror. Now I'll add a mirror modifier. Mirror it on the Y, not the X. I'll turn on clipping so it welds and I'll apply. So, there's a slight gap on it. I'm going to isolate that and have a better look. Alright, not a problem. I reckon actually just grab all of the verts. And now we'll merge verts by distance. And nothing happened because our threshold isn't high enough. But if I hold shift and move this up. Once they come into the threshold, it removed four verts, so it welded them together, basically. Now I think it's a little thick in comparison to the frame itself, so I will press S and scale that on the y-axis a little. And now I just need to grab this open top. the front autographic and I'll move this upwards to fit. Now it's a little shown on the front, that doesn't matter though because I'm going to move the whole piece back a little so it's inset. slightly better looking. Okay. Alright, I'll take that for now. Now what I want to do next is copy this window and I'm thinking maybe I probably shouldn't have cut that hole yet because I want to scale this down and I don't know if I can scale that hole down with it. So I'm going to figure that out now. 